Hey, what? Did your hair cut? <laughs> yeah. Mm, why'd you get so short? Well, I've tried uh, tapering it with like a three and one, but doing that shit by myself is not easy. So I just, <laughs> it's not, I mean, I can kind of make it look good, but it's a, it'll be even like it'll, it'll blend right. But then one side will be higher than the other. I don't even know if you kind of made it look good. Yeah, it's all right. It's it's real heavy up front. That's how my hair is, man. That's how my hair grows. <laughs> it's better than having that neck hair at the back. But I want your head. Head, your head's like a a, a round cube. <laughs> a round cube. Yeah, I've been told that. I've been told that pretty <laughs> much my whole life. Yeah. It's like one of those igloo freezer thingies. I hope not. <laughs> You going to Brittany's uh, baby shower tomorrow? Man, I don't know. Was that a yes or a no? I, I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm going. Man, I have fun with that shit. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Is it just me and you again tonight, or what's going on? Uh, I don't know. John usually's got you know some kind of family obligations, right? Yeah, it was funny because he was saying this morning he was like, "Yeah, it's special guest Friday, but we don't have a special guest." And I was like, well, "You don't know if we got a special guest or not." Shit, I could. We have. don't have guest. <laughs> Just because we don't, don't I mean I couldn't. <laughs> I got I got Nico over here. We could add him on as special guest. That's, that's, that's not the insinuation. I mean, if you want to add a minor to the you know explicit content we have, then sure, go right ahead. But What's um, it about our show? I'm not going into that. But it, what, what John's saying is not, not that you couldn't. It's just that he expects you not to have done the work, which is not wrong. <laughs> it's hard, man, reaching out to people and crap and getting it. You got Skype? You got a Skype account? Hit us on Skype. I told, I told you to reach out to Austin. I reached out to Austin. I told him about it. You had to follow up if you wanted him on there. I, I planted the seed. You didn't bother to harvest it. So that's a that's your thing, man. Oh, maybe I'll add him on. Yeah, last minute notice. Hey, you want to get on the call right now? <laughs> I know you're not <laughs> doing nothing. You're fucking playing video games. <laughs> some, reason, some of the special guests don't like that. Like they want to be notified in advance. Yeah, that's that's so surprising. <laughs> Jake was telling me he was like, man. Why, why are y'all y'all had that New York lady on? You you could have asked her all the stuff about her. Instead, you just shared your shitty booger stories. <laughs> we uh we definitely had an impact on her. She's not gonna she's not gonna forget us. Like what <laughs> her reaction? Her reaction is what made that so good. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame you didn't meet up with her when you were up there in New York. I messaged her on Anchor, and she just didn't respond. And yeah, I did. I did my part. I told her the dates and the times, and she said she was available on Saturday to come see it. And she did. She did. She didn't. I didn't see her. So, well, didn't you say there were only like four people in the audience? Uh, the first day, but uh, the rest of the times there was more. And um, one of the executives of the festival came in and watched with his family because it's supposed to be a family show. He didn't offer you a job or nothing? What? <laughs> he didn't offer anybody a job. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, you think it's be like with, with college ball and f college football. People like scout, that. Scout, yeah. scouts. Yeah. Well, if it, was, if it was a local act, then yeah, I imagine. But we weren't local. We were from Texas. So I don't yeah, imagine those people. Were. I mean, I'm sure many of those bums you passed in New York were – once trying to be an actor too from somewhere else. I I can only speculate, man. I don't know. I wonder how many of you are like real bums though. Uh well the one guy I came across that only had one fucking eye, I'm pretty sure he was a bum. <laughs> it's crazy that the bum situation up there isn't as bad as it is down here. Uh I think that's speculation, man. I I don't know. Um you got to be there to see it for yourself. I mean, there's you a down, little... Come down here and go down Lancaster in the morning and tell me that's not as bad as anything you saw in New York. 
Man, just last week they broke up a homeless camp out here that was like 15 people living in the freaking not even the woods. It was an easement that had trees built up around it, and they were living in the tree line. So what were they eating? Uh, they well, they probably panhandle for money and they bought like some, you know. <laughs> Man, I don't, I don't fucking know what they were doing, and I don't know why this is fucking amusing. These people's poverty should not be entertaining. <laughs> John, John was saying there was a neighborhood uh, not far from his place where they had these people. You know how like our house had that little quote unquote alleyway in between our property and the other properties. I isn't that called an easement? It's a little strip of land. That well, an easement, an easement is an access point from a main road. So, like, let's say, let's say you owned 100 acres of property, and then there was a guy that owned 300 acres of, or like a thousand acres of property, and all of his surrounded yours, and the highway was on the outside of his property. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking asshole, man. Do you want to hear the fucking shit or not? <laughs> I'm trying to explain it what do to you me. think? What do you what do you say? Easement <laughs> is the road through the guy's property to get to the fucking highway. That's what it is. Okay, that's an easement. <laughs> you gotta be so emphatic about it, God. <laughs> Calm I'm, trying down. You, I'm trying to tell you before you do your little weird looking shit or staring off into space or ignoring or whatever the fuck it is where you don't fucking pay attention. <laughs> and, anyways so john was saying that there's, there's this neighborhood and they had one of those alleyways like we had growing up except it was like uh, you know a couple blocks like a big city uh, urban neighborhood yeah and um homeless people had just posted up back there in that alley they had tents Sleeping bags, everything. They were doing little fireplaces. And um, they called the city to complain. They were like, look, you know, these homeless people here at night, they're getting loud. They're starting fires and stuff. Well, <clears throat> something happened. I don't know if there was like a fight broke out or something. Uh, but the homeless folks left. And, but they left all their shit behind. Literally. Like they left shit. Because they were just pooping out there in the yard. Oh, and, okay. And then their tents and their garbage and needles and chip bags and all that stuff would cook, you know, their sleeping bags, all that stuff just laying there. Yeah. So the city comes out and they're and they're like okay. habitation. They were inhabiting that area. Yeah. The city comes out and they say, Okay, we'll take care of the biohazards. But uh you guys are gonna have to clean up the rest and we need it done within three weeks. And if you don't, we're gonna fine you two thousand dollars to clean it up. So this is the homeowners. This wasn't the homeless people, these are the people that were living there. They said that they were responsible for that keeping that back alleyway clean. Well, I guess they could have reported something sooner and gotten cops involved beforehand. I uh, mean, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's just some BS. Yeah, it, is. it is. Where are you supposed to? Homeowners associations it? suck, man. I mean, the only the only time they profit anybody is when you're already in a rich neighborhood and nothing ever fucking happens there except insurance claims. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh well does jacob still listen to the show uh yeah pretty regularly but he gets pissed at like almost every episode he hasn't made it yet to the part where we went to skype he hasn't quite made it there yet Sure. He's still hearing where I'm in the background saying, ah, and then you're like, hi, like it's really loud and it just, it doesn't match up. But ah. now everything, if you go to the, our podcast now, everything looks clear. And I went back to our first podcast, the one that me and you did on animation. And I put a little apology at the beginning of that, explaining, you know, what happened to the podcast and why it changed. Okay. I'm just telling you. This, this is how fucking humans talk to each other. They fucking say shit. They share ideas. Don't you remember? Humans talk. This is a normal human interaction. That's what this is. Don't you remember? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Give me a second here. You gonna play the Jeopardy music? You can. I ain't got no Jeopardy music. <laughs> Whose fault is that? <laughs> I want to try this little sound switch thing I got. See if it plays some kooky sounds. Shit, man. I'm laughing so hard. My fucking head's hurting. <laughs> there, this is a... Uh, <sighs> sound. It works. Can you hear I mean, it? Yeah, I, I heard it. God dang it. Yeah, I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the noise. That's the noise. Yeah. That's the noise. This is this is the joke noise. <laughs> Fucking crickets. Anyways, that's the soundboard. What is this uh, calendar you got up on your wall? Looks like a woman. Ah, uh, there's a couple of them. They're models from this company I used to work with. Um, no, not a modeling company. The company that I used to work with got the uh, calendars and just gave them out, so I took one. Uh, Do they work for the company? Um, no, the the company it's Hollybeck Machine, and they just uh, and it's it even says it on the calendar, Hollybeck Machine. They pay for these, and then they distribute them. Why didn't uh, they just get their employees to do it? Because all their employees are nothing but guys. <sighs> There's no women. No, not at Hollybeck. No, it's all it's all guys. Oh. Well, Daniel seemed to be uh, not happy with John's uh, weight loss report. You mean weight gain? <laughs> Anyways, he wasn't happy with it, though. I, I don't understand that coming from Daniel because... It's it's John is his brother and he has no control over anything that happens to him. So uh, who's that walking by? Uh, it was Nico. Hey, what's going on, boy? Good. He said good. No, that's not what I said. That's not what I asked. No, that wasn't a good answer. But yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna do? That's that's all right. He shouldn't be he shouldn't be in on this anyway. He's got enough crap going on. Um. Uh. So with uh, with Daniel, it just you know it's entertaining to hear his reaction. <laughs> God damn, boy! God damn. <laughs> well, I thought it was funny when John was like, "You probably think I got candy somewhere, don't you? Or do you? You got, <laughs> got some uh, cake underneath your pants, do you? Or something crazy like that? What the fuck? Why would he have cake under in his back pocket? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Well, if Michael can keep a styrofoam cup in his back pocket, then I guess John can keep some cake in his. Oh, golly, man. I'm getting messages. Who, who's uh, messaging you? Uh, somebody wanting to go see Ad Astra. Oh, it was but pretty I'm, good. I'm on the phone right now, so I can't go see. It was good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, That's they're good. wanting to go right now? At uh, ten o'clock, yeah. Oh, will they come pick you up? Uh, maybe I don't. I don't know. Oh, are you wanting to go see it? I, I wouldn't say no. Well, but I'm missed. in the middle. I'm not, I'm not just going to stop what I'm doing. You don't have another guest on. If you had another guest on, then I'd leave. But this is me and you. <laughs> you're actually you're actually doing one for the team. You're putting the show's needs above your own. And it wouldn't be the first time. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> what else did you sacrifice for the show? I just said I'm gonna leave it at that. That's all I'm saying. Maybe because there's no other example. You just make you just came up out of your ass with that. You just fucking pooped it out. I don't want to go into a dialogue with you about all that nonsense. 
We got better things to be talking about. Yeah, you don't want to talk about it because it's not fucking true. That's why. Whatever. All right. <laughs> you just you just hoping that that just ends the conversation. We don't have to talk about it no more. That's all you're. <laughs> they, they yep. call it a trump card. That's your trump card. You get out of jail free. You're right. You're absolutely right. Yep. I guess mom's going to be at this thing tomorrow, though, huh? She, I, I don't know how she's getting around with her freaking eye all, you know, not functioning right. Is it? But then this time, didn't it heal? Didn't the surgery work? Well, she got the surgery, but she said she's got to wait for results, and I don't know if she's got them yet, unless you know something I don't know. No, I don't know. I don't know nothing. I ain't talked to her, really. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> what are y'all doing for Halloween? I'm take Roger trick or treating, go get some candy, and then eat it all. Yep, because you can't have none. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know that. But what those people don't know, don't hurt them. That's funny. Yeah. That's I was going to wear my Batman suit, but I don't want to shave, so probably won't do it. Why not? Why don't you shave? Don't want to. Why? That, that's okay. <laughs> Just in that conversation, <laughs> that's your trunk card right there. Well, why, why, do, why, 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 why do you shave? Why do you um, shave? It's, it's, it's hygienic. Um, most uh, places consider it a professional appearance. Uh, there's people that uh, think that it's uh, a sign of uh, refinement. Um, you know, growing out a beard doesn't necessarily, you know, shine you on to uh, other people. In, Some people. In, the, in the whole of history, human the whole of hi human history, men have had beards. It's only a recent uh, phenomenon that they shave them. How many how many congressmen and presidents do you know that had uh, beards in the last twenty years? Twenty years. How many people like congressmen or presidents? <laughs> but that's considered the epitome of professionalism. They're supposed but to be. Maybe it once was when they had beards. It no longer is. When they were shooting each other on the White House lawn, that was. <laughs> so Abe Lincoln was pretty popular. And he didn't get shot on the White House lawn, but that, that's not what I was getting at. But then um, he, had beard, he had a beard, though, didn't he? Didn't he? And what, what did that get him? He got shot in the fucking head. What about Teddy Roosevelt? He had a little mustache. That's not a beard. Facial <laughs> hair in the same realm. <laughs> oh, what are we talking about, man? What is this? What is this we're doing? Be careful. Um, yeah, that's what it does. Woo! I was reading articles uh, recently, and I, I was supposed to be bringing those up, but the only one I could think of, that the only one I, would, I could think of was um, they're talking about uh, making uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s personality as Tony Stark into a, a, an artificial intelligence. Uh, I kind of like uh, bring back vision. Well, uh, making well, I don't know if they're going to bring back vision, but they're like making RDJ, you know, his character live on and not just be dead after the snap. You Is know? that so he doesn't have to actually act? It can just be. Him doing over. Work? Well, I think, yeah, because I mean, he's in his 50s, isn't he? So he doesn't want to keep doing this. He's only made hundreds of millions of dollars. He can he can hang it up if he wants to. You know, Chris Chris Evans isn't slowing down. He's already in another movie. He's going to be in Clue. That's, why would they make another Clue? What do you mean another Clue? One of Sarah's favorite movie is Clue. Oh, so that was this is a remake of an older movie. I didn't know because I haven't seen it. So yeah, as uh, going to be in it. Yeah, Christopher Lloyd in it. And uh, uh, well, Tim has, uh, it has Chris Evans and Daniel Craig. And a bunch of other people, but um, I just I like that Chris Evans was in it because he was continuing, you know, his career, not just stopping after, you know, Captain America. Um, so that's that's happening. Uh, though I saw the trailer for the new Terminator Man, and I liked it. I think Linda Hamilton's like a little old, but you know, I mean, that just, like they brought that's, her back. I, I like that she came back, yeah. Um, so and I'm what like, I mean by like, a little old is that, you know, it's hard to uh, be an action star at fucking 70 years old. And that's my problem with Sylvester Stallone is that 
come on, man. You've been doing these fucking roles forever. <laughs> you got to retire at some point. You can't be Rocky Balboa, seven years old, in the ring getting fucking beat up. You're well, going to die. Not, he's not in the ring anymore. He's just a coach. He's like Mickey. You know, you know what I'm saying, though. You get what you get the reference. Or Rambo, even. Yeah, I don't I don't know any you know combat is a young man's game. You can't be out there 60, 70 years old still banging slinging lead. You, that's just you're not up to it. I don't know. I bet I bet some of those uh some of the insurgents are older guys. Uh yeah, and they're not going through survival training or any of that other trash. They just shoot a gun and run. <laughs> well, you really need to do, right? Isn't that, isn't that the goal? When you have 200 a thousand people, yeah, but if you're just a cadre of 20 and you know, you need uh, – well, anyway. Um, but it, it, was, it looked like a good trailer. And I, I want to try to avoid any scathing comments about age. But it, it looked like a good a good trailer. I like oh, Terminator movie. Yeah, I, I like that the, they brought Linda Hamilton back. Arnold Schwarzenegger is going to be in it again. Um, it's an interesting concept of a new Terminator that's liquid metal but not liquid metal, you know? It's like a uh, – well, I don't know how you call it, but it doesn't make a lot of sense though that they have the liquid metal over the endoskeleton because just a liquid metal structure that can hold itself up would be way more impressive than well, a I guess it has, over the structure. It has like the power source and it can be a carrier, it can be like a vessel. It has yep. to attach to a terminator before it can become its uh you know its own entity. I, I don't know how to explain it. I didn't make the fucking movie. Why didn't you? I didn't even, cause I, I yeah, cause I got seventy to eighty million dollars. Yeah. Oh, I bet it costs more than that. When they uh, when they were at Comic Con this year, like Arnold, uh, he was on the opposite end of the panel from Linda Hamilton. I think maybe there might be some issues there or something. Maybe they don't like each other. Just because of where they sat. Yeah. Why wouldn't they sit close together? They're the two big names of the movie. Why that means they have to sit next to each other. Chris Evans and RDJ didn't always sit next to each other when they were doing topics. Maybe they hated each other. Who knows? <laughs> I can't speak on that. I don't know. <laughs> well, what can you speak on? When you take <laughs> pictures of, when you take pictures of Jamie, do you do that shit where you fucking close your eyes at the damn photo? I do this. And she appreciates that, right? Sometimes. <laughs> she tells you how much it means to her that you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> you should have seen it when I put it on that cake. They took our picture and I'm just sitting there and I know what I'm doing. <laughs> you can see my hand. When you, what, what kind of stuff do y'all argue over? Um, like... Uh, where where we're gonna end up? Because um, I don't want to live in Waco forever. She doesn't want to live in Waco at all. Um, so she's thinking about where she's gonna start her career as a lawyer at, and you know, just going from there. And that that leads to arguments. Uh, disagreements. Well, what's your what's your disagreement? She wants to stay down near Corpus, and I don't necessarily want to stay down there. Where do you want to go? I've I've thought about traveling, um, going to other states. Um, Wyoming's really nice. Uh, up near the West Coast is really nice. Um, not to live, but to you know at least be there for a she little while. Go with you. She wants to stay in Texas. <laughs> Motherfucking cold, man. Dropped down to 40 today with rain. <laughs> yeah, I was wearing my jacket and everything, man. My what kind Shazam of jacket? The Shazam one, the red one. <laughs> you like wearing that thing, do you? A lot of people said they liked it. Yeah. I'm also their boss, so I don't know if that fucking means anything, but. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine that means a lot. <laughs> yeah. That was, uh, so there's these three guys in my office. They uh, they came oh, yeah. in and they were looking at our uh, sign up sheet. We're doing a potluck lunch next week, and so the sign up sheet's on my board. And so they were looking at what they wanted to sign up for. And this girl, she's kind of annoying. 
she's always like asking questions all the fucking time and it's just like please just just go do your job you don't you don't have to check everything off with me just just i trust you to handle it but anyways they were sitting there looking at it, and she picked her head around the corner and, and one of the guys he's an older guy an older mexican guy he puts his hand up over the paper and he says no this that's not for you you can't do this and she's like ah, rude and he's like i'm just kidding and they were saying you know look at this nobody's bringing any meat and i said well Sarah said she might make chicken salad. And she looked at me, she said, who's Sarah? And I was like, my wife. And uh, the old Mexican guy started laughing. He's like, yeah, he's not single. <laughs> and she's like, that's not funny. Seriously. And turned around and walked off. And I was thinking, man, I probably need to say something about this. But I also don't give a fuck. And it was kind of funny. So <laughs> God dang, man. <laughs> but part of me was thinking. Maybe I should say some. Hey guys, come on, man. Y'all, y'all, you know, let's let's get back to work or right, just hanging around here. Let's, you know. But I didn't say any of that. I just laughed and <laughs> went back to work. <laughs> Maybe she secretly has this hatred now. And so you gotta uh -huh. be careful about that shit, man. You gotta be careful about that shit because it doesn't take much for somebody to make the logic complaint, and then your whole fucking day is getting to a brick. Well, here's the here's the problem. My memory's not very good. I don't recall that. You just told me about it, and there's documented evidence. <laughs> this, this is storage. This ain't a real thing. It's too late. You said you did watch the disclaimer after the fact. If it was a story, you would have said it before. <laughs> Everybody that listens to the Big Beefin Show knows that it's purely entertainment value. It's not realistic. And if it has any relation to actual events... Uh, it's just coincidence. <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> you can't, you can't accept anything we say, and this is true. It's all fiction. Okay. <laughs> that doesn't help you at all when you do your fingers like that. It doesn't mean shit. <laughs> <laughs> You get, you get like you're up before the uh, review board, and they're like, "Shane, you have this video where you talk about this inappropriate behavior that you didn't address." I'm like that's not me, but Shane, you did this while you're up there. I'm like, that wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, and you're asking to get doc pay and censor. <laughs> you mean doc pay? <laughs> Yeah, you'll see how much we mean doc pay when it shows up on your check. <laughs> yeah, they probably just dock me. They, they probably just they probably just bust bust me down the back to the line officer, and we just have to do it that way. I wouldn't. Well, I, 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 I think that's worst case scenario. You know, you don't have a history of inappropriate behavior at work, do you? Mm -mm. And I, I, I mean, inappropriate like where you should discipline somebody, but you don't because it's funny to you. <laughs> that's that's yeah. what I mean. You it don't have funny. <laughs> Some of the shit, some of the, like, okay, for another example, there's this, one lady, there's this one lady in my office and she's kind of uptight, but she, she takes care of stuff. Like she handles everything, but she's kind of bipolar. Like sometimes she gets real crazy about stuff. So she comes into my office and she's like breathing hard. And she's like, okay, okay, okay. And I'm like, oh God, what's going on? She's like, okay, well, first of all, I just want to say that you're probably going to get a phone call about me and I didn't do anything wrong. Uh, but the lady was rude. So, um, she was rude to me and she was very rude when she called. And so I responded in kind and she got what she gave. She got what she gave. She's rude to me and she got what she gave. And I'm like, what happened? Shit. Tell me what fucking happened. You saying all this shit. I need to know the details. Say it word for word like that. <laughs> no, I said, I said, okay, slow down. Tell me what happened. And she said that, okay, so our IT people, now the IT people at our job, they're what you would think IT people people would be like they're stereotypical nerds like oh. super tech like lo logic they're like vulcans not really funny not really cold not hot they're just they're dry what, what are the numbers here is the report please make sure your device is plugged in so anyways she calls she told me earlier that day that she wanted her laptop because she's supposed to be getting a laptop she said hey uh so-and-so got a laptop i still don't have mine and i'm like look i put in the request I don't know when they fucking hand out the laptops. All I do is order them. And if they bring them, they bring them. I don't know what to tell you. I don't, 
I don't have the laptop magic eight ball. I don't know when yeah, it's getting. There's a lot of hostility in your workplace. <laughs> so uh, she, uh, so she was like, so I guess she took it upon herself to call them to figure out where her laptop was, even though I didn't tell her to call them. She's called them. She said, "Hey, uh, want to know about my laptop?" And the IT people says, "Oh yes, we have your laptop here." We would like to schedule a time for you to come install it and set it up. And she's like, okay, I guess you can come down now. And IT person said, well, just make sure you're ready because we're going to have to clear your desktop to take your personal items and move them. And then my employee said, no, 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 no. Uh, you're not going to be moving anything. You're just going to be giving me a laptop. And they're like, no, I don't understand. The order was for a new laptop. And she said, no, it's for an additional laptop. You don't have to move anything. It's just... You just give me the laptop, and that's it. And the uh, IT person's like, I don't understand what you're saying. So From the get-go, it sounds like this woman's patience was running thin, and she was getting snappy with this person. That's what yeah, it sounds so, like. So IT people's like, well, uh, this is what Shane said. And Heidi tell, or the uh, employee says, well, maybe you should just talk to Shane about it then. And Did you just IT say her name was Heidi? You no. just said her name was Heidi, didn't you? No, that's not what I said. <laughs> not what I said. I said, righty. He said, oh, righty. <laughs> Riley. Oh, Riley. <laughs> oh, no, I said, whitey. Anyways. Uh, okay, okay. I get it. <laughs> that, uh, the lady said, she's like, uh, yeah, we're well, talking then. She hung up. She hung up the phone. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Because this is the second time you've said that girl's name. Does this person have a problem? What is wrong with this? Is why is this work, woman still working? I got, I got two people with the same name. Do you? <laughs> one, of, one of them is a fucking problem. One of them is a fucking problem. Uh, the other one's actually one of my good people. It's just she has work. Um, okay, she's just a little unusual. I guess. So I, as, soon, as soon as she told me, she started telling me the story. I knew what happened, so I looked at her and I said, "Hey, um, look." She didn't mean that she's going to clear off your actual desk, like the top of your desk, not not the actual top of your desk. She meant she's clearing off your computer so you can get the new computer, which is the laptop. And you could just see, like, she realized the fuck up. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All this for nothing. <laughs> I'm like, did you think she was going to, our little IT lady was going to come there with a broom and sweep that shit off the him. fucking... Hey, boy. All right, well, uh, Shane, I got I to gotta ask you, man. Um, so let's say, worst case scenario, this uh, unnamed person that is a problem at work that you've just confessed is a problem. Um, if for some reason, and we're not going to wish this on her, we're just going to say hypothetically, if she was fired, she has this background and she has this education because she can't be a probation officer or parole officer without a degree. If she has this background in education, what other jobs can she pursue? She could go work for CPS. You didn't like working for CPS. No, I didn't. I hated it. But she could go do it. She could go to another jurisdiction. She could go to parole, what Sarah was doing. So even though she gets fired, that's not a bad look for her on her resume? As, as long as the place that she goes, the jurisdiction she goes to, isn't tight with my director. So, like, let's say my director's real tight with the Travis County director. They're, they're, they're buds. If she went down to Austin and applied for a job and they reached out to him and they said, what about this person? Oh, we had a lot of problems with her. Oh, okay, never mind then. And that kind of stuff would happen. But if she goes to a jurisdiction that's different, it won't be like that. Aaron, what do you got? You You've been kind of pissing in the wind over here. We haven't really been doing much. What do you got? Um, I'm sorry. We had a we had a guest come over. We had we were, we were entertaining guests, you know. Oh, it's a special guest on a Friday. Imagine well, that. You know, well, you know, we, it, it was last minute. Uh, their partner wasn't it wasn't Waco. Oh, they you wanted didn't to do even something. have to try to get a special guest. She just kind of yeah. came over. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they just showed up. Like, all right, well, shake, hey, shake. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just scratched my nose. Yeah, <laughs> so, Aaron, what, what's wrong with your hair, Aaron? I cut it. I it's got not hair. hair; it's his fucking head. Like he's got this <laughs> circled cube. You're at, you're at your mom's house, aren't you? No, I'm at. This is my house, man. This we is keep because you got the damn dream catcher up that mom yeah. had. We're like ten years old. 
Yeah. Uh, well, she doesn't have any of this this other stuff. This is this is where I live. What What are you? She walking? doesn't dance. I, I, she have I, a pull-up I, bar in her doorway. <laughs> I hear like uh, did you say she don't have a donut bar, bar in her doorway? Pull-up bar in her doorway. Pull-up bar. It's right there. What do you do with that? What do you What do you do with pull-ups? I'm asking what you do with them. <laughs> <laughs> Good I'm comeback. Thinking you, I, I'm thinking you have oh, to ask because you don't know how to do one. Well, with this one, with this one, I've used it so much that the fucking rubber hand grips came off. And dude, trying to do it without the rubber, like right here, your grip is hard to keep, man. Your hands get slick, so you slip off of it, and it started to rub. You can see. It's starting to fuck up the door frame, so I've got to fix that because not only did it leave like black marks, but it put like dents in it from where I was pushing on it. Go Dude. ahead, knock knock one out real quick. One, how, you want how to do see one? The camera so we can see them. Right. Uh, here I'll figure, figure, I'll, I'll figure, figure that out real quick, Aaron. When we do this, uh, so yeah, that's good. That's good. We got it. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, he's suiting up. Set it up right there. Oh, he's up. up. He's up. up. Yes. Oh yeah, um, with a nugget right this, here. Oh. This is your this is your pull up where you hang like this, and I can't really grip like that because there's no rubber in my hands. Are super. So I can do a um, I don't even know what you call this one. This is where your hands are are like. Can you see me? Oh, is that is that Nico? What's up, Nico? Yeah, Nico, what's going on, brother? He's watching. Hey. He's watching you exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So Whoa. that's one. <laughs> 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 they're not they're not as hard as you think uh, you just got to make sure that well you're not you, 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 you know you gotta make it pretty tight where'd you learn that format to arch your back and all that stuff well it's just natural from pulling up I'm, i don't know <laughs> i don't know what you want me to say are you out of breath no i'm good i'm good i do these every day man shane i, I gotta tell you shane I was throwing a, a fit when you showed me that Godar. I was throwing a bitch fit. Yeah, I almost bought it. I almost bought it. I but mean, I I'm like, really? Y'all keep telling me it's going to be like late October I can get it. But here's here's my buddy right in his hand at a gay stop with it. What the fuck? You know? Oh, <laughs> you so know? you went up there? You went up there? No, no. I'm sorry, in Plano. I didn't go up there. I went, but I went up to Thursday. Like, all right, you must got him because... Here's everybody finding them. <laughs> so, did you already pay for yours? I pre-ordered it, so I didn't pay for it already. Just, just for that reason. That's why I, don't, I only do the minimum. <laughs> just for that reason. Well, so because I was thinking, because I was, I was actually there looking for the Doom Space Marine. Mm -hmm. They have him. He's out now. The Doom, what? The Doom Space Marine. Doom. He's Doom. out. D O O M rhymes with boom. I get, I get it, motherfucker. But what, what do you mean, space marine? The main guy in Doom. He's a space marine. Well, yeah. I was thinking, I was thinking Warhammer 40k, but, but you're not, not an Imperial space marine. Just a fucking marine that's in space. That's all he is. Did you pre-order that? But he fights demons. No, but I was going to because uh, it wasn't in the store. That's what I was there looking for. I saw the Goldar, and I was like, well, I do want the Goldar. But also want the Space Marine more. But but they've been advertising that the Godar is exclusive to GameStop for some stupid reason. So why am I waiting for if my Godar doesn't come with something exclusive like a special weapon or some bullshit? You know, maybe I should go up there tomorrow and just buy it so I have it before it's gone. Well, if it's still there, I don't know. It'd be like your buddy have three of his hand and shit. Yeah, yeah, that guy was he was pretty proud of himself. He, he proud because he pissed some he pissed a lot of people off. <laughs> That's why he's proud of himself. But where's Daniel? Da man, whatever Daniel's cooking up, he is keeping it on the down low. He's not letting no, he's not even letting me know what he's doing with his puppet thing he's doing right next. He bought he bought uh, like a stage, right? He bought like a real show. Yeah, he's he's doing something. He like he showed me some of the property. Like he got look, I bought a um uh uh we call it a bag you put dead bodies in. Um, bag that you put dead dead bodies in? Yeah. Uh, the, black just, bag, the black bag that the EMTs have. What's that called? Yeah. Body a body, body bag. It's just a, oh, well, it's just a body bag. <laughs> he, he bought a body bag 
Oh, my God. I think like a big body in his bag. Oh, what's that called? <laughs> That's what they were doing. Everyone's on the ball and dice. What's up, thinking with the body in? <laughs> um, and he bought a, a body bag, an eyeball, and I forget the third thing he bought. I'm like, damn, what are you doing? Like, you'll see, boy. You'll see. The next, the next episode is going to be real good. Like, you know. I'm telling you, man, he needs to get somebody to help him do that. He needs to get an extra, extra hand. I don't know. Because I think he's having to record it and use the puppets all at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe kind hey, of he, needs, he needs to get Michael to come help him. Michael will help him. Michael's moving that, of course, Canada on the 15th. Well, before he goes home. Where does, does Michael live on his own? Yes. Man, I don't, I don't even want to imagine what that's like. <laughs> Leave it on his own. Crazy. Is it like Party Central? Does he always have people over and stuff? No, they all... no he's not. No. Random women at strange hours? Ladies no. of the night? No. Uh, There's Michael just, Michael and all his crazy clown pictures and props and all the other stuff he likes. But I don't know what the deal is with him and clowns. He loves fucking clowns, you know. It's because of that impact movie when you tackled him. You've traumatized him. Oh, did y'all see the new uh, gold, solid gold credit card? Like it's made out of gold? Made out of fucking gold. And it works? It's a, it's a real I, credit know. card. If you get qualified talking. for this credit card, you have to pay for the credit card first. And, and it's twenty $25,000. So you have to qualify for the credit card then you have to buy the credit card so you can start using the credit card. So if you're a thief and you steal the credit card, you don't actually need to run it. You just melt down the gold. And there sell you the go. Yep. There you go. And you'll actually make pretty good money. Yep. Yeah. I'm like $25,000. Yeah, you can get a gold shop or a gold dealership or a jewelry store. man. Uh, in the UK, it's like 16,000 16, pounds. I don't know how pounds. They do pounds. I don't know how that shit works. You know. You don't know how pounds work. I don't know how pounds work. I don't know how they work on a human body. That's what my doctor yeah. said. You know, just about to go. How pounds work in the UK? You so. beat me to it, man. Yeah. Nico. What's doing? <laughs> I knew y'all were going. And I thought I was doing it. <laughs> Nico, I see you back there. You can't hide. <laughs> I saw that. You got to I see you. Hey, put put bunny ears on Uncle Shane's head. Put bunny ears on him. You see, you can do it. That influence the kids, man. What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> That's a little bit of ears on a big man. <laughs> well, you know, the next thing Aaron's going to be like, go get an egg and throw it at his face. Like some stupid shit like that. Hey, yeah, that's actually a good idea. Go go in the fridge, Nico. See what you can find. If you can't find that, find some mustard. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be like, Nico, squirt the mustard right in his nose and just stare at him. And man, laugh. Those tickets yeah. say... Like, like, so, so I want I want to say something here real quick. Shane came up with the egg idea. I want y'all to know that. <laughs> what egg? You, you should, uh, uh, Sarah wasn't lying. Shane, those tickets are already almost gone already. Yeah. The, oh, so Aaron, we were looking at the uh, All Elite Pro Wrestling Show, and I saw your comments. Yeah, it's coming to Garland, and it's a uh, hundred dollars a ticket. I know. I saw, I saw your post, and I saw the comments. Man, like. I don't know about paying. I don't know about paying all that now. You know, I want to go see it, but shit. I saw your what? post. Saw the comments. Yeah. What else do I need to say? No, it's just, it, it just, it's just we're trying to teach you how to speak like a fucking human being. Oh, did y'all, do y'all watch the news? Any, any you watch the news? I didn't watch the news tonight. Okay, I, so what happened in Gar? What happened in um, uh, Pleasant Grove was these uh, homeowners. Oh, I told Aaron already. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. I heard the story and I heard your comments. Yeah, I heard. <laughs> Which one? No, he didn't hear your comments. I told him about the fucking bums in the alleyway. And so, they, they build the name. Wouldn't you be, wouldn't be fucking pissed, though? You were told that you got to clean this shit up? So well, that's the thing we were trying yeah, to figure out. That, that happened out here in Waco not too long ago. They busted up a camp of like, it was more than 10 homeless people, but 10 was the first number that came but to mind. But this is near your house. And the city goes, well, it's near your house. So you got to clean that shit up. It's yours. But, you know, but, uh, but apparently well, tonight the city reversed that and the city went out there and cleaned it for them anyway. They did. That's the wrong thing they, to say. You know. that, that property that mom had, 
the there was an eight there well it wasn't an easement but there was a tract of land that went right outside mom's property line that the city fined her for not keeping up with and it wasn't even her property was it is that true right yeah she got so the part of the reason that so uh john so what aaron's saying is we had there was a block a city block in kearns and my mom's property you know it was my dad's originally was about one quarter of that block so it was the bottom right corner it was it was a, it was a quarter of the whole thing so the top half's above it the bottom half's this way is where the it's, name of my podcast came from was the house we grew up in yeah so um but on the border of our property was uh, what the what the city had called an alleyway so originally uh when they cleared out the land and they set up the city or whatever you would have our house, a small little like p dirt road, a paved road or whatever, a little dirt road, not paved, a little dirt road. And then you'd have the other houses, right? Well, our house was the oldest house on the block. And yeah, the, it was looking old. The people that owned, their, the owned it, they didn't, uh, they never, they never cut the grass or anything. They never mowed. And so like the shit grew up, like trees grew up, pecan trees, cedar trees. Which is yeah, a, a bunch of bushes, those little leafy things. Like it made a perimeter of trees around the whole house. It was like a fence. Mom liked that shit. Mom liked having privacy. <laughs> it, it, essentially, the bush was so thick. <laughs> the bush was so thick that you couldn't see into the house. Like, so it made it like a fence. You know, still in there. <laughs> huh? You don't know about the bush. Um. Anyway, and, and his mom's worried about me, John. <laughs> Aaron, you know you're a bad influence to kids. We've seen you. You manipulate. For oh, your... Continue, continue. Anyway, um, yeah, so um, what happened is it got out. I mean, it was like crazy. It was sick. Well, as time goes by, currents, you know, population gets a little bit more conservative, a little bit more. You know, want things to look kind of standard. And so we had this uh, guy move in, and his wife had been a teacher a long time ago at Kearns, and they came back, and she was a counselor now. And uh, he was retired, and he just liked doing yard work. He liked agricultural stuff. And he was just kind of, you know, hanging out at home all day. Well, his wife died, and I guess he got bored. He didn't have nothing to do. And uh, he told my mom, he was like, hey, uh, you know, I could trim some of that up for you because you've got this large – overgrowth and you know skunks and rats and snakes can get in there even though we never had that problem it was like a couple of armadillos once one time a snuck got out there but it wasn't like out in those bushes it got up underneath our house where it was warm up, Nico? Uh, uh. so anyways he, he said i'll trim it up for you and she's like okay well he, he didn't just trim it up like he fucking cleared it he pretty much cleared everything except for the big trees and the small little ankle high bushes and then uh, eventually after that was done, it was just like, well, after a few years went by, I might as well just get rid of all of it and just leveled the whole thing. So it went from having this when we were kids, pretty much being a wooded area around our house to all nowadays it's, it's nothing. It's just gone. We just dirt and grass. But I don't know about the fine part. I know she owed back taxes. Like she wasn't paying her taxes for about fifteen years. Yeah, I paid. I paid some of that for her. Um, but what I was talking about was uh, she had not the part where um, her neighbor cut it all down. It was a part that was kind of the barrier to the next house over, the house that we used to go over and play baseball at. Uh, the Cumbies lived there. Um, I think she said that she got fined for not taking care of that, even though you know it was past her property line. Was that not true? Because that that seems to be the story I remember. Yeah, I, I haven't heard that one, but and it wouldn't surprise me because they start goes mom when we first moved there, fucking mom would rake up all the leaves, John, big old pile, and set that shit on fire right there in the middle of the yard. Wait, we, we got got mad a, she got mad because they put a burn ban down and said you can't do that no more. It's my property. Why can't I burn anything on here? It's <laughs> mom, it's a fire hazard. You can't burn. I, we just found a ticket. No, well, not a ticket, but it's a, a notice around all of our houses. Well, because, you know, a lot, all the people are doing this is the, the people come, mow your yard, get the leaf blowers, because they're not going to break that shit. They just blow all the shit into the street, keep on going. Now, uh, if, the, if the city sees you mowing, I mean, sees you blowing your lawn and 
grass trimmings into the street, there's two thousand dollar fine because that gets into the um the drainage and it clogs them up. And they they said like they spent like ninety two thousand ninety two hundred no ninety two thousand uh, dollars cleaning all that shit out. So now they said that you're not allowed to do it no more. Damn! I, every time you I cut grass, you don't mind people sitting here listening to this curse like this. You don't every care. Time blow, every time I blow into do my yard, I blow this shit out into the street every single yeah. time. Well, I was out, doing know. yard work this weekend, and I was thinking, yeah, I'm just gonna blow everything out into the street. Okay, doing that because I'm like, well, I was like, well, fuck. Like, what if I just blow it into my driveway, and then the wind takes it away before I can clean it? You know, it said on that thing. It said, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, sweep it back in your yard. What if I try and it just I don't get all of it, but I try. I don't know. I don't know. They say they see you doing it, intentionally doing it. Yeah. That's it's a fine. And, and it's funny that it says if this happens, sweep it back in your yard. Like I'm not gonna go out there waste my fucking time sweeping it back into my yard. <laughs> but it is what it is, I guess. You know, whatever the city wants to do. But I know I'm not doing it. You know, I I leave it out the shame. I'll I'll blow it out. I just leave it there. Cut it. All right, stays there. I, I'm not I'm not picking it up. Well, I blow the stuff that gets onto the driveway out into the street. The the, the, the leaves and stuff. Yeah, like what kind of uh, leaf blower is it? Electric leaf blower you got or a gas one? No, it's electric. Powerful. I mean, it gets the job done. Well, apparently the shit that your your homeowners don't care about it, they let you do it. Stimulating. No one's getting, um, no, no one's getting you crap about it. Well, so. uh, it's I don't I don't think it's one of those situations where I don't know if I want somebody telling me I can't do it. Why not? What's it their fucking business? Like, what do they care? You're going to clog up your storm drains. Water's going to back up. Which are flooding they, your they area. got stuff to kill that, the, the grass. They got they can pour some chemicals down in there. Pour, pour more chemicals down there? Yeah. I think that's what they're trying to prevent. Up. Get a bottle just, uh, of drain. Just pour, pour some Drano down there. Oh, what's Jonathan up to? Much of nothing. It's yeah. a little late, right? Ain't, ain't going to be tired? Well, our guest came over and, hey, say hello. Oh. Say hello. Hello. What's that? What's that shirt? Uh, it's, it's just, I don't know what show. It's some kind of monster truck show. I don't know what that is. Oh. I, I haven't watched. I haven't watched it myself yet. Jack. Jack. Yeah, I'm gonna be a big brother. Right. I'm gonna be a big brother. Oh, oh John, we sent you an invite to our uh, baby shower. Yes. Yes, I saw that. We'll, we'll go, uh, what, what? What day was it? November. Uh, no. I can't remember. And I sent you one too. I saw it. Hey, Ron. Hey, Ron. What'd you get your hair for anyway? <laughs> well, it was getting long. Um, usually, when it gets about a an inch and a half or or around an inch long, I shave it. Um, and what I've been finding is that barbers here in town, when they blend it, I really don't like the way they blend it because they do a fade, and I don't like a fade. I like a, a, the way that the, I really like the way the military cuts hair. And I've tried to keep that, but trying to get a barber that can do it. They all say, oh, I've, I've done military haircuts before. And it's like, yeah, you you did it, but you didn't do it like the regulation way. Reg, but barbers on bases and around bases know how to give regulation haircuts. And that's I like the way that it's it's blended in, a lot, like the line that it leaves around the, the crown. They mm-hmm. they. Uh, they blend it in really well, and I, I just like the way that it looks. Like uh, when Jake Gyllenhaal was in Jarhead, and he had that high, you know, shaved head, but the way that it was it was done was like that's that's the Marine haircut. Now I don't always want a Marine haircut, but as it grows longer, I can trim up the sides, and I can grow the top of my hair out and keep the sides close, and you know, trim up my neck and all that stuff. It's easier to maintain. Why don't you just drive down to Colleen and get it done? That's an hour and change, bro. I'm not driving an hour one way for a haircut. That's no. You're surprised people do it. People a long time to get I used to. I used to drive down to Currents to get my hair cut. And you know, Garland cut my hair, and he ended up screwing it up because he was old and his hands were shaky. <laughs> I, I, did he screw it up, or did, was your just head not working with him? It was no. your head. He's cut my hair for years, and he tried to cut it again, but he was in his seventies. And he, not long after that, he retired. He knew. He knew he couldn't do it no more. <laughs> Hair. Yeah, I have it. I have plenty of it. See? Yeah, I do too. <laughs> it 
You got to shape it. You got to move it around. <laughs> Nico, how much hair does Uncle Shane have? Not much. Dang it, boy. See, look at you. Over there enjoying yourself. <laughs> You're like the little red devil sitting on the shoulder. You got a little pitchfork. You're poking. Hey, <laughs> go over there and poke him in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> Take all of his toys and just throw them on the ground. <laughs> Nico's coming to the thing tomorrow, and I'll tell him to go poke you in the eye and see how you like that. <laughs> so, all right. So, so apparently, so, so, John, let me, let me fill you in on, on this. On, John's about to tell a story. Oh, um, apparently, all right, all right. Uh, my wife just texted me and said, Need you. Like, uh oh, that's why I left. And she goes, What's wrong? My back's hurting. I can't stand up. Help me up. I'm like, okay. And while I'm picking her up, she goes, Jonathan was supposed to come and get you. We're like, Jonathan, <laughs> you must go tell me. Mommy needs help. But he, just started, he just started playing. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, he's like, oh, yeah. I, I missed, so, uh, John, I've been, I've been telling my, my nephews um, to do crap to their parents for the longest time. Like, uh, there was one time when Logan was probably like three, and his mom, this is when she lived in Corsicana. And we're at her apartment, and I'm standing here, and Brittany's doing dishes. And I said, go slap mom on the on the back end. And he goes up there, and he pats her on the back end. <laughs> I mean, he didn't, he didn't even think about it. He just went up there and did it. And then there was another time where he was a little bit older, and we're still at the same apartment. And uh, Brittany's calling for, Logan, come here. And me and Logan are playing toys in another room. I said, Logan, don't go. <laughs> and he said, oh. <laughs> I said, uh, I, I don't know. I should go. I said, no, just stay here for a little bit longer. Logan, come here. He's like, no, I got to go. I'll get a spanking. And he ran. <laughs> God dang, man. You just took right the line. No. No, right the line, man. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it, Logan. Watch don't that. do it. Logan. Make him come get you. Cash song? No, walk the line. Walk I can line, see it right man. now, John. We're, we're, we're next year. We're going to be up in Arkansas, up in the mountains. And there's going to be this crappy little bridge. And Aaron's going to tell Nico, Nico, just run across it. And then I don't know. Sprung. Don't be scared. Sprung. <laughs> Sprung. But I know I'm excited. I'm excited already to go camping. I'm excited already. You tired? Yeah. Uh, tired. Guess I need to start looking at campgrounds up there. Uh, yeah, because I was looking at them. Um, what time of year are you wanting to do this? But, uh, do it at the same time. But it's going to be an annual trip. But uh, I, was, I was bullshitting looking through there, and I know a lot of the things said. Plan, uh, plan ahead. Plan months ahead. Plan weeks ahead. Like, oh man, because apparently a lot of them get sold out quickly. A lot of good ones do. So, for people Real doing doing up. annual trips, yeah, it's pretty up there. So, gotta watch out for black bears. Hell no, Shane. Black bear don't get you, boy. Get Nico that axe. Go there, Nico. Let's nut up. <laughs> get him, Nico. <laughs> get that, that why, why don't you have Nico face off against him? He's got. His whole life ahead of him. You already got John your John said it first. Wait, John wait, said it first. Well, I, you know, it's his moment. This is his moment. He's young. He's full of energy. You know. What happened to he's protecting the youth? You know? yeah. huh? He gets to finally be a man. You get to be yeah, a man. Nico. How about that one? But, but John, you lived your life. You, you, no, you no, I haven't. Have that lived my life yet? No, no. He's got kids. He's got kids. He can't. He can't risk it. Nico, take it down. Like, God dang, Nico. I didn't, I didn't think you really were going to take that thing down. All right. <laughs> All right. Nico, take it down. <laughs> Nico's the axe at you. <laughs> Nico's in charge now. <laughs> He's in charge of cabbie trip now. <laughs> I know one thing. Y'all better not run if my ass gets mauled by a bear. You better fucking help. What do you want me to do? Go I'm going to be pissed. Out. I got if, if you can't handle a fucking bear, what makes you think we're going to be able to handle it? <laughs> I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a hold it over your heads for the rest of your lives. Then, Remember I left my if, eye? If you okay, make it that way. <laughs> I come back as a ghost and be like, hey, that fucking bear ate my ass. How do you like that shit? <laughs> you, you just come back, ooh. It'll be like it'll be like Daniel's video. Uh hey John, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the ghost of future's past. <laughs> I'm coming to haunt your ass. <laughs> he starts pushing you. You like that, huh? <laughs> That's what the bear was doing to me. He's like, man, I just want to be the, the ghost of minor inconvenience. Like John would have like a pull a dollar bill out of his wallet and I'd blow it away. He'd bend <laughs> over to pick it up. I'd keep pulling it. <laughs> like, damn it, Shane. I, I hear Shane. Pick it up. 
just pick it up. What's wrong with you? Just pick it up. <laughs> All right, boys. We pretty much hit our hour mark. All right, we're a little short. But go ahead, Shane. I'm I'm gonna wait ten seconds to fucking make Aaron happy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you can say you know it can officially hit our hour mark since it's so important that we be fucking precise. <laughs> you gotta get all bent out of shape about it, man. All right, Aaron at Southeast Third, gonna go watch Ed Astra tonight. John at JP's what every morning, bright and early. And uh, where it be beefing, we'll be back on Monday. We're on YouTube, Facebook, uh, Instagram, uh, Anchor. I gotta write a letter to Eddie. I know I still haven't fucking done it. I know you haven't. I'll, I'll write it. He's gonna put it on Facebook. Look, he wrote me a letter. Look at this stuff. Look at this stuff. I know you're hey, doing it. Uh, Nico, give Shane a wet willy. Give him a wet willy right in his ear. <laughs> I don't want him to poke in my ear. I don't want you telling people to poke my ear. <laughs> I'll pull my beard. I'll pull my shirt down. I'll pull my pants down. You know. Pull his beard. Be the beard. <laughs> I got a photo. I got a photo where uh, me, Logan, Nico, and Sebastian were at a rodeo. And Logan reaches over and grabs my face and just yanks the shit out of it. Oh, he did it. <laughs> okay. Fucking <What> happen. <laughs> you happy with yourself? Thank you, Nico. I'm going to give you five bucks the next time I see you. you the next time I see you, Nico, you get five dollars. I promise you. <laughs> Bastard. Good time had by y'all. All right. All right. Good night, boys. All right. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Bye.